All right then. Now, what on earth were we doing? Uh, I may make a KSP Let's Play Tree Sniper, though uh, I'm not that good at the game. <laughs> I enjoy it, but uh, that is despite the fact that I'm not good at it, rather than because of the fact. Or rather, because of the fact I might be good at it, which I'm not. Damn it, tree. Stop breaking my pickaxes. I know that's all I ever use them for these days, but still. All right, now then, we are going to need a lot more iron. But as I was suggesting, I'm thinking we could... Yeah, I'm going to break this down along here. I'm going to try and pull all of this into, uh, into place. Let's keep going. Now, I can basically just sit on here with F press down and delete all of those as the conveyor belt takes me along. But until you get really fast conveyor belts, that's really quite boring. So uh, I don't recommend doing it. Much better to walk with it as well. The thing with Space Station 13 is it's a fairly hard game to let play. Because... Well, just the way that uh, the the game plays, really. All right, let's pick all of that up as well. Okay, now, the way we're going to have to set this up, we want, well, a good deal more of those, for starters. Uh, all right, we can start about... Well, we're not going to be able to get that, regardless of what we do, unless I do that. That works. Place out there, then. Now, it's going to take a little while before I get all of those together. But what we can do is we'll start up top and move our way along. And instead, we're going to bring the iron over here, the, the coal over, merge them on a line, and then come down and then have a sort of central line of uh, smelters. And this is going to cause the aliens to have a sudden interest in destroying us utterly. Not that they haven't already been trying to do that, but uh, they're going to try much, much harder once this really gets underway. Let's pop that there as well. Okay, we'll start with four. Let's not expand too quickly, because that really is how you get killed. Uh, alas, well, the stream, as, I, as I've mentioned, Kiki, will be up on YouTube most likely, so uh, you won't miss too much. Perhaps the next one, though, will be at a time that's better for you. Hopefully. Alright, okay, now oh, this is getting somewhere. Let's... In fact, I could just have... Hmm... Maybe if I move this over a little bit, I could actually have it just rolling down here. Uh, that may be possible. Let's see what we can do with that. Oh, don't encourage that thing to carry much of that. It's wrong of you. Alright, let's grab all of this. We'll slowly put this base in order, damn it. And of course, we will actually need all of these as well. Okay. Alright, now to see how much room these are going to take up. Right, I can't place it where the radar is, but that's fine because I can move the radar. Okay, I think I think I can do this. Radar can move up here. Unfortunately, I've not got much room in my inventory anymore. I'll place the radar there, along with a couple of the other military uh, items. And this, but there should hook everything back up. Okay, that's good. Hmm. 
Your text is blue, is it? I what? I have no idea. Right. What we want to do is basically have these working on either side of this conveyor belt, all the way down for quite a while, because we need an enormous amount of iron. Though you've got to kind of balance out how many of these you're placing versus how many mines you've got actively delivering the product you need. So uh, you can set this up in, in a way that doesn't actually benefit you at all. Uh, in fact, that seems like a good place to, to wrap that part up because we can have the conveyor belts take over here to the bullet processing uh, ammunition, rather. So we'll do this. Like so. And then connect these two up. Fantastic. Now, it's important not to just have the, these come down because they will, would just dump onto that conveyor belt. Ah, wait. I'm going to need to move this. Well, actually, I think it would be better if I had this one be the one with the tunnel. Because I need to connect to that conveyor belt. So we'll put the tunnel away. Uh, I'm sorry, that was very undapper of me, Drexak. I apologize. There we are. And over on this side as well. Damn it. Let's get a load of these. Alright, there we go. That should uh, take care of everything, pretty much. These inserters are going to put onto the far side of this belt, and when this comes down, it'll uh, double up along there, which will be quite nice. We'll get rid of that. Right, so now all that remains is to hook all of this up to inserters. And, of course, you know, power. That, too. Uh, hmm. Ah, oh, damn, that's going to be annoying. Well, on the plus side, I can kind of have them zigzagging down there, but that is actually kind of annoying. It works, but not well, in my opinion. No, we'll leave that there. Okay, that should be enough. And I should be able to place... Oh, ah, damn. One place out. I'm going to have to move one of these then. There we go. Right, there we go. Now this should be ample iron for all of our needs. In fact, we're going to have so much iron production now, it would actually be easier to store this by doing a little trick. Let's uh, get a couple more of these and place this down. Now what we want to do is have several of these being stored. Like So we'll have several inserters moving around. It'll ultimately only mean we're going to be able to move it twice as fast, but uh, that will actually add up. There we go. That's fantastic. That should solve a lot of our problems with research. Hi, Leo. Halcyon, are you singing? No, you're not singing the proclaim. <laughs> Singing a version of their song, perhaps. And this amuses me. Right, now let's uh, top up the iron that we need. One there. You're good, you're good. One over here as well. And that... Should be... Why aren't you taking the iron? 
you taking it from the wrong place? In fact, yes, you are. Why are you doing this? There we go. I had that all last backwards. But there we are. That will actually work now. And damn it, my walls have been broken. Oh well, slightly damaged. Ah, I answered that earlier, actually, Teresa. <laughs> it's a bit of a long conversation to keep getting into. So you may have to watch the uh, the back footage of the stream to find my answer. So sorry. Uh, take care, Kiki. I hope you enjoy uni, your classes, or school, if it is school you're going to and not uni. There we are. I will just top up on that because I'm probably going to need to make a lot more electric poles over time. But I should probably continue with the walls as well. Let's get those on the go. Now it is going to take a while for these things to, to sort themselves out. But they will sort themselves out at this point. So I can focus on other things like uh, bridging this gap with some wall section and putting some more guns down here. That would keep this area safe. And I would be able to more or less ignore the south then, because uh, as far as that would go, the base would be entirely enclosed. Still got a lot of work to fully enclose the base, but uh, I can make a start at the very least. What I'm thinking though is possibly making another entrance area down here, so that if I need to I can leave through this area. I think that would probably be a good idea, honestly. Plus. I'll encourage the uh, aliens not to break my walls. Damn it. Let me chop down these trees. There we go. Um, it depends what you mean by spiritual successor. I mean, I know there are a lot of people who are making versions of uh, Space Station 13. I mean, I've even got a... <laughs> hybrid Space Station 13 Minecraft thing going, well, I say Minecraft, I really shouldn't, it, it's, it's got cubes. <laughs> Seems that now that, that makes everything, anything that, that uh, uses cubes instead of other geometric shapes in order to represent stuff is, is now Minecraft, and I'm perpetuating this, this fallacy, and it's not true. But, uh, yeah, there are lots of people who are making, uh, who are remaking Space Station 13, so... Depends what you mean. Let's, let's get all that as well. Alright. I will probably have... Uh, we're not getting that many enemies down there, so I might not put two rows of uh, guns down there. But I'll definitely have four at the very least. And I'm going to need a hell of a lot more iron. Ah! Uh, yeah, actually, I have seen Star Forged. It does look quite interesting. I haven't played it, but... Uh This sorted. Right, we want ah technology. That is what we want. We want lasers. Oh dear lord, yes, please lasers now. It's going to take a while, but soon I'm not going to need these guns. So in that case, I may not even bother building this extra set down here. Well, maybe I should. Maybe I'll just have a few guns, and then I'll slowly replace them, as I uh, explained it's good to do. There we are. I've made several games, actually. Most of them were MUDs or, or variants on, on text-based uh, games, but it took me a long time to really care about graphics. 
enough to want to make a game that, that relied on them to uh, express the world. I was much more in the, the sort of haughty, elitist, well, if you don't use your brain and your imagination, what good are you as a human? No good at all. You should just be recycled as awful to be fed to our livestock kind of mindset. But no, I mellowed. And I uh, started to appreciate graphics for what they are. Right, we need more inserters over here. Now, these other inserters like these, like uh, the fast inserter, really is fast. The smart inserter, you can connect to wires to trigger on certain events, which can be quite useful as well. Uh, we need to put an electric pole down here. About there will do. Now, that isn't going to really help us too much. We're not producing enough... Well, we kind of are, I guess, a little bit. There is a, a stockpiled green pack there. But I'm going to need to top up the iron, I think. Uh, down here. I think that may be one of the only places I need it. No, there as well. And up here. Of course, I need iron everywhere. What am I thinking? Indeed it is. ASCII is always good. But I tended to uh, deal mostly with text rather than uh, task, text pretending to be graphics. But uh, I definitely did uh, develop a love of ASCII graphics once I started playing Dwarf Fortress. That was probably the first game that I actually played which used ASCII extensively as a sort of surrogate graphics. Ooh, where's the fight? Oh, it's all the way up there. Really? Aliens, why why do you always pick the places that I haven't got a decent amount of defenses? I feel you're doing this on purpose. And it isn't dapper of you. Right, let's see. We should have just enough walls now to finish this entrance it'll still be useful to have this entrance there because lasers work in much the same way guns do so you do want to kind of uh force things to to bottleneck and spend more time in your maze than they need to there we go right now then we'll just place these down here and what I can do with the lasers I can have them on the other side since they won't really be necessary at that point uh, it won't be necessary to have bullets going all the way over there now the thing is how am I gonna get the bullets that way this is a little bit more of a pain what I could do is move this again once again and instead build this about here bring out the power and the metal and then I'll use an early splitter and then a, a second splitter to split it between the two destinations it needs to go oh this is glorious seeing all of this metal here but we still aren't really using it enough because you notice these ones aren't really engaging is because there's not enough uh, metal making its way all the way down to the bottom of the conveyor belt. It's getting used too early. So we could go ahead and add some more mining. And I'm in favor of doing that. Let's do this. That way we'll mine that whole area out and we'll bring down some power as well. Then all we need to do is connect it up. Like so. Fantastic. That should keep all of the metal flowing. And also, you know, I can just do that as well. Which is quite useful. Right, let's get back down here. Uh, do I need to top any of these up? Yes, I do. And no, I... Well, I kind of do. There we are. Right, let's get this going then. No problem, Spud. Thank you very much for showing up, dude. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your night.
Well, to be fair, I I enjoyed playing Banished. It it isn't as featureful a game as Nomoria or, or Dwarf Fortress, certainly, but it still is enjoyable. Just a different sort of game, really. It it fills a different mood. I think is the best way of putting it. There we are. Right, I think this will probably be the last area that I actually set up guns. The rest of the areas will have lasers. We're already halfway there, which is fantastic. But the moment I start using lasers, oh my lord, my power. Well, I won't have any power, that's the problem. It'll all be gone. Squandered. Sacrifice to the laser overlords. Right, there we are. So we've got some defenses down here now as well. But I do need to actually connect you to the power. There we go. And the light down here would be useful as well. There we are. Uh, just a break at the moment, Dark Cat. You never really get over uh, Castle Doctrine. It goes through stages. You can only watch your, your wife be murdered so many times before you lose the will to build any houses and you just sort of think to yourself, you know what, we're just going to move from this neighbourhood. Sure, life will be a little bit le less boring, but, you know, no one's going to die and my kids will be safe. It, <laughs> that is, of course, a joke. I... Uh, just haven't had time to record it. It does take an awful lot of time to record that particular game, simply because you don't just sit down and record it for an hour or two hours um, or four hours, <laughs> as the case may be, but rather you record it in little bits for like two or three days, and that can be a little inconvenient if you've got a lot of other stuff that you're, you're doing, because you can sort of ration your time out and move things around and schedule stuff so that you've got enough time to do everything. But then if there's this one thing that you can't really ration, you, you just have to do constantly, it does uh, make doing anything else a little bit hard. Thank you very much, guns. I appreciate it. Let me uh, repair those walls. Right. We are down on the bloody green sign packs once again. It's you. Also, I need to uh, drop off some of this metal. Now, later on, it would be a good idea to actually have this delivered automatically. I mean, that's the best situation you can have, where you literally don't have to do anything but build the mines. Unfortunately, it's also uncommon to get to that spot. Oh, my lord, my walls! Another nice thing about lasers when they finally... Oh, I'm pulling that one down. When they finally arrive is that uh, lasers... Ah, oh, damn it. Have a much longer range. There we go. I didn't finish the splitter. Let me check that out. Oh, no, you're quite correct. Thank you very much. Sorry, it takes me a little bit of time to notice it. It is green texted, so it's a little bit easier to notice, but uh, I apologize. Thank you very much, though, for uh, pointing that out. That would have been a little bit frustrating. I will top that up as well. There we go. I think the thing that uh, prevented me from noticing it was these two managed to get some bullets, so they stopped flashing. So I just assumed that uh, bullets were moving through the system still. And top up this with half of that. You're fine. And you are now also fine. Perfect. The red science packs are pretty much completely backed up because everything is waiting on the green science packs at this point. And also, that's useless to me. I need to push that back. Now, again, you'll notice that uh, with the science packs, the inserters will only put a stock of two in there, even if there's loads there. 
And that's, again, useful in the same way that it's not overstuffing the guns. Since uh, if you've got multiple laboratories working, you'll research everything a little bit faster. But this you probably haven't seen so far in uh, this. And these are modules. We can research them much later on. Different modules affect the building in a different way. A speed module, as the name implies, will make it work faster. But the trade-off is that it will also cost more power. It'll cost twice as much power for a 20% increase in speed. The productivity module, 40% increase in energy consumption. It takes 15% less speed. But its productivity increases by 4% and pollution goes through the roof. Um... Now, I'm not really sure what it means there by the... It must work slower as a result. Oh, I see. They have they've have nerfed that then. I remember there was uh, talk about how much they'd nerfed it, but I thought they'd simply increase the power consumption. But no, they've actually decreased the speed when a product, productivity module isn't in there. But the interesting way the productivity modules work in this is instead of... As you might have expected, it would simply increase the speed of the thing by a certain amount. Instead, let me uh, give you an example. Where you can see one progress bar going along here, if there's a productivity module in it, another progress bar will be there. Whenever this factory is working, this will be moving at uh, whatever. Say it's increasing it by 20% productivity or something. It'll be The second progress bar will be moving 20, at 20% the speed of the first one. And when that second bar reaches it'll create another batch so the nice thing with that is that if you've got a scarce resource for example alien artifacts which we'll get into later using productivity modules you'll actually get more out of each thing it won't just happen faster you'll actually get more um, resources out of it which is very very important you know what, I'm thinking we're starting to see a problem where they're just not able to move all of this fast enough. So, I think it's time for fast inserters. Make a slave cast with the quarries and mines. My goodness, that's a little bit dark. Harlech wouldn't be able to do that. The Welsh have known the, the, the pain of being subjugated. We, we couldn't do it to anyone else. That's why we're so nice. Ah. Thank you. Also, solar energy. Equally thank you. That's going to take a bloody long time. It takes 30 seconds for a lab to produce one part of research. So, effectively... It's going to take 130 seconds for one lab to do it. And obviously, the more labs you add, the faster it gets.